Welcome back. This is Sajin again, and today we'll be talking about Elastic Container Service. So ECS is a service where you can deploy containers, and in this um, in this demo, we'll be talking about EC2 mode of the ECS service. There are two modes possible: EC2 mode and Fargate mode. For this demo, we'll be focusing on the EC2 mode. Anyways, so um, so we will be having two subnets. There will be private subnets which means there won't be any direct internet connectivity over here from outside and we will be deploying an ECS service with two instances basically with two EC2 machines and deploying an Nginx container over here. Now also the plan is to basically as an end user access access these services um, using a load balancer. So we will be having an ALB and which will be an internet facing and because um this alv needs to face on the internet side uh, we must have um, at least two public subnets so in this demo we will be having three um public subnets which uh, we will associate with the elastic load balancer and then alb will access these services all right now the final piece is basically uh, if we see an individual ec2 instance uh, the plan is to deploy possibly you know multiple containers of nginx container into this machine um, so there will be a dynamic port mapping concept so using that um, the dynamic port on the host will get associated into each containers port 80 so that way you can deploy more than one container into the um, ec2 instances so let's see how it works Okay, uh, before let's quickly verify that. Um, so I have already uh, my VPC created. Okay, there are three public subnets. I have given the name uh, such way so we can identify it easily. Public sub A, public sub B, public sub, sub C, and these three you can see in this green boxes over here. And the plan is to create an ALB and associate these three public subnets with this. That's all. And then these two private subnets in blue color, and these are like private sub B, private sub C. And they all belongs to my VPC. Anyways, um, so and this is a jump box. Uh, actually, it's an EC2 machine. I have already created. If you see over here, I'm just listing all the running instances. This is a jump box, and the job of this jump box is to basically SSH and go into individual machines if required. So I've already created it before this demo. So now let's go to ECS service. You can type it over here, ECS. Click on this, and you'll come over here. Create cluster. So as I said, there are two modes possible, EC2 mode and um, uh, Fargate mode. We'll be focusing more on the EC2 side. So cluster name, I'm going to give C001. On demand uh, for this demo, T2.medium should be OK. Uh, let's create two instances. Basically, two EC2 machines will be getting created. Amazon, the other one is deprecated. 30 GB um, is the minimum value. If you give uh, less than that, it'll mm -hmm. give error. If you need more, you can adjust that. I already have this key pair, choosing a key pair. I don't want to create a new VPC. I will be using the one which I've already created. So let's choose submit, by the way. ECS cluster, I want to deploy only in the private submit. So I'm gonna choose only private sub B and private sub C. So in this subnet, private sub B and private sub C. All right, let's quickly validate that. Private sub B and private sub C, perfect um okay leave it default security group um okay i don't want to restrict anything on the security group side so i've already created security group and secure specifically its name is um unsecure basically it allows everything for this demo should it be okay all right create so now my cluster is getting created um okay once this is ready i'll just click on view cluster but that what it means is like it'll be deploying some machines over here in a couple of seconds they will be stopped. okay here it started visible over here so because we have given two instances this is deploying two uh, instances over here so it will take a while meanwhile i also want to show that this will create a load balancer as well so you see that this load balancer has been created with a minimum zero and maximum two and desired capacity two in availability zone b and c so specifically all this information which we have given over here okay so now view cluster button is visible if you click on this 
you will see that you're you know inside the cluster so ECS instances okay let me refresh it oh, maybe it's yet it's still coming up just give it a couple of seconds once this is ready uh, you will see two instances over here okay perfect so these two are like in an active state all right so now uh, the basic setup is ready now the next part is to basically deploy a containers over here and that's where we will be defining the task definitions so create task definition again you have to choose ec2 over here give it any name i'm just gonna give td-001 stand for task definition 001 choose a role leave it default um, just choose some role memory 512 mb should be okay and 512 cp is also okay 1024 is basically one vcpu 0.5 vcpu should be okay that's why 512 perfect now container definition here exactly you will tell what um image you want to deploy so i'm gonna give it name in the next container and image in the, in the next you can if you have private repository choose that you can also pull from ecr or from docker up so in my case i just want to use the official public image from docker up for nginx and this should be sufficient for that okay um all right um so container port should be 80 and host port so this i want to give zero because um at this moment i don't know what host host port will be dynamically assigned uh, and this guy is a host port it will be like randomly created but 80 is a container port where in the next will listen so just leave give it to zero and come down okay leave everything default at so now my container part is there okay i think pretty much everything is there just create okay so now my task definition is getting created is created so as the name suggests it's just the definition there's no actual task has been created so if you come to the cluster choose this you see this is a cluster which we just created um ec2 ecs instances are here and there's no task if you click on task there's nothing over here because we have just created a definition we have not created an actual task so we don't want to create an individual task which if you want you can do that but what i want to show is to associate with the load balancer and for that we need to uh create a service okay uh load balancer okay so in fact before uh going there let's quickly create a load balancer first go to target group create target group instances i just want to give a name tg should be okay choose the right vpc leave everything default next all right create target group so now my target group is there i can now create a load balancer and in my case i'm going to use alb set for application load balancer my hyphen elb should be okay it should be an internet facing and that's where you need to give all the public subnets so i'm going to choose my vpc this is the vpc which i'm working in and uh, i choose all three zones and because you choose all three zones you have to choose the three public subnets um, in my Availability zone A, there's only one public subnet, but in B and C, I have public and private. Remember, these private subnets are here. And if you try to choose private subnet, it will give an error, it won't allow. So go back and choose a public subnet. So basically, I'm associating all the green subnets with this elastic load balancer. All right, here also, I don't want to restrict anything. So I'm just giving a security group unsecure. And I'm going to choose the target group. And that's it. Pretty much everything is there. Okay. Um, okay my elb um, my elb okay load balance okay so now my load balancer is getting created i can leverage this load balancer into ecs service so let's resume the remaining task here so you can either create a task as i said or you better create a service because once you create a service you have an option to choose a load balancer so create okay again i need to choose ec2 and then task definition cluster let's give any service name as one should be okay uh number of tasks so here this basically says how many number of contents will be getting created so i'm going to choose five um all right leave everything default leave everything default next step okay sorry ec2 
next step and here you can choose application load balancer now um, load balancer my elb okay now you can choose all this information uh, and then next step next step all right if you want you can review that create service so now it is going to create service basically it will associate this load balancer and then dynamic port and the request will go over here so in fact now we can go back to ECS service choose the cluster and if you see the tasks they are getting created so the, remember we have given the task count as five so it has created five containers in these two EC2 machines okay and now at this instance if you go to EC2 and go back to the target group choose the target group and you see um, this has automatically adjusted the dynamic port 49155 uh, in these two uh, machines in the first instance ending with 70 uh, there are three containers running of course they will be in a different port because otherwise port will clash and another machine they are running on a different port so seems everything is okay i can go back to the load balancer and uh, i can basically uh, even before doing it let's quickly try one more thing um we can go to ec2 dashboard instance i want to go to jump box and basically uh, modify uh, the behavior of nginx page basically just want to give that every time when i access nginx um, I should also see the container ID for that. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So let's come to the terminal. Now here I'm in my jump box 12101940194 private IP. So from here, let's go to one of the box and uh, Let's go to 121135. Uh, so I search from pem to user. Okay, now I'm into this box of uh, private subnet B. Basically, I'm here. And if you say Docker PS, oops. Okay, and you see these three Nginx containers is running. So um, what I'm gonna do here is I'll just copy this container ID and uh, I want to replace the content. This is the file which serves the Nginx. So I'm gonna append this container ID at the last of index.html. So this I have done for the first container. Let me do it for the another two. And the last one. Okay, now let me also do the same thing for the another machine. So let me assess to another machine. Okay, think same private IP of um, another machine 274 and then Docker PS. So now here I see that two content running with. 210 and 0 eb ending with these two numbers so let's quickly replace them here you go and the last one perfect so now i have modified uh, the content of the nginx uh, response now the last thing is to basically just test it go to the load balancer uh, copy the DNS name, enter. All right, so now we see if we hit um, the um, DNS name of the load balancer, we see the Nginx response and the last is the country ID. And this is the one which we have placed um, in the index files. And then you just keep refreshing it and you see that it is rounding, doing a round robin um, uh, 
you know a load balancing to all the five containers so that's pretty much i hope you learned something new and uh, if you like it please like the video and thanks for watching